This video will cover how to set up Kali Linux for gaming. So instead of studying, finishing that project, or wrapping up your report, you can be gaming. Can't be poning boxes when you're poning noobs. For the first way I'm going to set up my Kali Linux machine for gaming is by adding Lutris. Lutris is very easy to install. We just need to do three different things. The first step is to sudo app install Lutris. The second step is to install all the dependencies for Lutris. In my case, because I'm running a NVIDIA graphics card, my command will look something like this. Depending on your hardware, the command may be different. And the third step, which depends on what game you're trying to run. In this case, I'm gonna start off with running StarCraft. For StarCraft to function properly, this is all the dependencies I will need. With all the dependencies installed, all that's left to do is install the game. Searching for the game on the Lutra site shows we have two options. We can either A, install StarCraft 2 by installing the Battle.net client and then installing StarCraft 2 through the Battle.net client, or installing StarCraft 2 through the StarCraft 2 installer which will install Battle.net as a prerequisite. During the installation, Battle.net may attempt to update itself and in the process, crash the installer. If this happens, a workaround is to first install StarCraft II on a Linux distro similar to Kali Linux, like Ubuntu. Move the working game files into Kali and point Lutris to use the working Battle.net launcher under the game options in the settings. After installing StarCraft 2, there are some other things you need to consider. The first thing being if you have more than one monitor, when you click play, StarCraft 2 will only open in the window that your cursor is in. The second thing is I like to keep my StarCraft 2 configuration in windowed full screen. This makes it easier for me to alt tab out of the game if I want to work on something else while I'm waiting to find a match. I have brought up a recent replay to show that Kali Linux is running StarCraft 2. If we go into the terminal and do ps aux rep for battle dash i, we can see that Battle.net is running on our Kali Linux machine. Lastly, I want to cover the issue of alt tabbing. If you alt tab in your StarCraft 2 game, there's a potential risk that the cursor will not stay in the game and trying to move your map around won't work and your cursor will fly outside the game. If that happens, what you can do is a quick fix of opening your menu, selecting your options, and then hitting accept without changing anything. When you return to the game, you should be able to move around like normal. Another popular game we can install through Lutris is the JavaScript version of Minecraft which was super useful for solving the hack the box crafty machine. However, I don't remember exactly which installer I used, and there are a lot of different installers to choose from. Instead of downloading malware by mistake, a alternative solution is to download Minecraft from the official website under the alternatives page, which I have in this directory as this .deb file, installing it with the dpkg command dash i and then our file. And that uh that super failed. Let's see if this is a valid package. App search. And we could have just installed it through the package manager without going down this rabbit hole. sudo apt install this package. We'll get this unmet dependency error. So we can do sudo apt fix broken, broken install, which will remove the Minecraft launcher. We can arrow back up and install the launcher. Unable to locate package.
Isn't that what I just searched for? App search Minecraft. Why does the launcher just not exist? All right, well, this is kind of broken and you can try installing Minecraft, but your mileage may vary. A alternative to Wutris for managing your games is Steam, which we can get by doing app search Steam, which I already have installed. If not, you can install Steam with sudo apt install Steam. Many games on Steam can be played on Linux, VRChat, for example, has been installed. Search for it in the Steam library. Right click on the game, enter properties, compatibility, and enable compatibility by check marking this option. Force the use of specific Steam Play compatibility tools. This will run our Steam game, VRChat, and Proton. All that's left to do is launch the game. If there's ever a need to full screen the game, all you do is hold Alt and Enter to toggle full screen and back again. And here, here we are. Here's VRChat on Kali Linux. If we were to go back into our terminal and check that VRChat is running, play ps aux grep vrchat dash i, we can see that Kali Linux is running on Linux. Next, I'm going to cover more simple games that could be played in the terminal, such as this N Snake game, which is basically just the snake game in the terminal. Thank you for Pebble for showing this off on stream. If you do not have it installed, you can install it with sudo apt install and snake. Running and snake is as simple as and snake. Now we can select our game and play snake. to quit out the game. The last bit I wanted to cover for gaming on Kali is playing games that you have built when learning how to code. I have a simple Python game in this directory. Here is the code. It's using the import random Python module to generate a number between 1 and 100. And then it has a while well, true statement where it prompts us to guess, counting each attempt. And then if our guess is lower than the number that the computer has generated, it will print out a alert message. And then to handle the color, we can use the color AMA import. Kind of like bash, we need to put the color in front of the text before we paste the text. And then of course we need to add a reset on the end so that it doesn't cover the rest of the text below it. And then of course we have one for if the number is bigger than our guess. If we guess the correct number, it will print congratulations and the total number of guesses. And then breaking the loop. Playing the game is as simple as dot slashing or Python guessed. The fastest way to beat this game is to guess in the middle of all available guesses. So in this case, since we have 1 to 100, I'm just going to start guessing with 50. It says our guess is lower, so I'm going to do 75. That's too high. I'm going to do 65. It's too low. We're going to do 70. Number's too high. We're going to do 72. It's too high. We're going to do 71. I'm going to do 70, I'm going to go 68, 69, 66, 65, 
63. I mean, 64. This is too low. 67. And uh, we did it. I did a terrible job, but ta da! And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something because I sure didn't. All the commands will be in the description. Hope everybody has a great day. Take care.